I want to share something very special with you guys. A while back I shared my uh, Grandpa Curly's cruiser axe when he was working as a uh, logger back in the 50s and 60s. I showed you uh, his Warren cruiser axe. And so now what I want to show you is a little double bit axe that m both of my granddads gave me as a gift one year. My grandpa on my dad's side, Grandpa Willis, used his wire wheel grinder and really cleaned up this head. It was, he said it was very rusted and, and pretty pretty banged up and uh, he felt bad that he had to get rid of all the paint on it but in order to get it cleaned up nicely he... Hey, quiet! In order to get it cleaned up nicely he had to uh, use his wire wheel on it. You can see he's got uh, original Collins orange kind of right there by my thumb. That's the color that the paint was. You can also sort of see that paint in the uh, letters but um, once he got the head all cleaned up and he traced it out to make a scabbard he gave, handed it over to my grandpa Curly on my mom's side and my grandpa Curly found this handle which is actually a uh, a half hatchet handle from Stanley at uh, you know a half hatchet is a shingle hatchet and he refitted reconfigured it to fit this uh, little double bit and so he fit the handle and my grandpa cleaned my other grandpa cleaned it up and and made a sheath for it and then my grandpa curly sharpened it really well he was probably the best axe sharpener I ever knew and the two of them together presented this to me for Christmas one year so that's why it's so special to me so um, they're pretty rare these little Collins double bits are really hard to find anyway and uh, the fact that it was given to me by both of my grandpas just makes it that much more special I've been thinking a lot about in honor of the two of them maybe redoing it um, like I said my grandpa Willis is always bothered by the fact that he had to take the paint off of it and my grandpa Curly never really did like this whitewash lacquer finish and so I think uh, maybe in honor of both of them I'm gonna redo it paint the head the way it's supposed to be painted and then um, maybe scrape hand scrape all this lacquer off and do an oil finish so maybe just one of these days might get around to that if I ever do it I'll share it with you but in the meantime I wanted to share this cool little hatchet with you take care of my brothers and sisters out there